month long, look forward to not only new episodes of the Radical Retro Rewind podcast, but also 1977 Halloween cooking by someone who can't cook. <laughs> A true nightmare. <laughs> Radical Ones, Radical Ryan Hunter here from the Radical Retro Rewind Podcast, and all month long I will be doing recipes from this cookbook, Susan Purdy's Halloween Cookbook from 1977. I love looking at old cookbooks, especially ones for Halloween. I've actually told myself every year that I would be doing a recipe from this, and this is the year. This is the year, Radical Ones, that I'm finally going to do it. So, Radical Ones, today's first recipe is going to be called Poison Purple Punch. I'm starting with this one just because it sounds like the one of the easiest ones in here. Purple Poison Punch. Halloween is full of surprises, and this recipe is one of them. It tastes unexpectedly delicious. I love the art in this book. I will be posting the actual recipe in the description below, wherever you're watching this video on Instagram or YouTube. Okay, so as you will see, there is three main ingredients with this recipe. I had to alter it a little because it calls for milk and I have a little bit of a dairy thing. So I usually use oat milk and that is what I'm gonna substitute it today. I hope it doesn't change it too good. It's vanilla oat milk. So hopefully that will help everything, but it needs ginger ale and unsweetened grape juice. I did not get the vanilla ice cream, so maybe that will be a detriment to what the taste is like, but but if I'm drinking a potion, I don't want it with ice cream, especially with the dairy, like I just mentioned. But you can try it with ice cream, and you let me know if you actually end up trying this recipe. So let's get into it, Radical Ones. Okay, so the recipe calls for a punch bowl, and originally I was going to use this Pyrex that has Halloween pumpkins on it because I don't have a punch bowl, but then I realized why am I going to fill a punch bowl with these ingredients when I'm pretty sure that no one will want to try my purple pumpkin. <laughs> purple poison punch. So I am going to cut this recipe down to a glass. Okay, so it says to make 10 servings, approximately two thirds cup each, four cups of cold milk, two cups of chilled ginger ale, one cup of unsweetened grape juice, and then they want you to have one and a half cups of ice cream. Like I said, we're eliminating the other dairy in the ice cream, but feel free to put your purple poison punch on top of the ice cream. So we're gonna combine all the ingredients in the punch bowl and stir with a ladle. For the single dose, I am gonna cut this recipe down. So let's see what we can do here. So let's start with a cup of milk and or milk substitute. So here is the cup of the oat milk. Hmm. Okay, maybe I'll put a cup and a half. Let's try that. Disaster, I feel like. Okay, so we got a cup and a half of the milk. Now it calls for two cups of ginger ale. So let's cut that down as well, shall we? So let's do, let's do a half cup of ginger ale. Maybe I do need the punch bowl. This is why I don't cook radical ones. <laughs> okay, so we're going back to this bowl. Oh my God. Okay. 
<laughs> you like that one? Okay, so we have the ginger ale in there as well. Boy, this is appetizing, isn't it? And it calls for a cup of grape juice. So since we cut everything else down, these levels are not matching by any means, radical ones. I should have just did the whole thing. So let's do, let's do a fourth of the grape juice for now. Mm. Let's do one more for one fourth cup of grape juice. Okay. Halloween orange spoon. Mix it up. Think of witches. Think of cauldron bubbling. Hmm. Hmm. And tune. Here we go. I'm eating a little more ginger ale. Another fourth. Boy, for this premiere episode, you are in for a real treat. Okay. All I smell is the vanilla oat milk, but that could be a good thing. Or did I not put enough grape juice in? Hey, Radical Ones, I am back with the purple punch. Cheers. Okay, now don't go by me because I did not follow the recipe correctly. <laughs> but what I taste is, it's very harsh. It's like, I taste the ginger ale and it makes it like bubbly. And then you kind of get like a slight I think it's the grape that really makes it disgusting. Radical ones, I promise a better recipe next week. We're actually gonna do a pumpkin souffle, I believe. Okay, let's try it now that I added more grape, which is the thing I hated, so not sure why I added more, but I wanted it to be more purplish for you guys. tastes less it's actually I don't know if I'm getting used to the taste or okay I don't know if I would have that all the time maybe if I would have followed the recipe originally correct and made it a big punch bowl size Susan Purdy wasn't wrong. It is surprising. I'm going to give her the benefit of the doubt that if I had put this in a punch bowl and actually did the correct ingredients and not crazily cut this ingredient down. I honestly can't tell you what it, grape, grape and... I know, it's grape soda with milk. Honestly, I think you can get the same effect if you added a grape soda into a, some kind of a milk or cream kind of thing like this. Although, could she have put the ginger ale in to settle the stomach because this will do a number on it? Who knows? Could be could be <laughs> radical ones i hope you enjoyed this frankenstein of a recipe that i just concocted for you this is poison purple punch from susan purdy 1977 halloween cookbook next week i am actually attempting 
a full-on recipe. This was just to ease me into this. And that one, I will be following the recipe for. But again, if you want the actual recipe for this purple poison punch, it will be in the description below. Join us all this month on the Radical Retro Rewind podcast for a spooky all-new season. Doing a lot of fun movies, but also spooky fun. So join us every Friday for that. And next week, I will be back with another recipe that I will not mess up. Sounds good, right? <laughs> Bye, radical ones.